Well, we're up at the grandstand and uh, <laughs> we've got the, the guys here who are over getting ready for the big TT launch. It's just Tuesday night, but uh, we'll come down in a second. First of all, let's get your feelings on this year. How are you feeling? Cold. Still in a bit lane. <laughs> Hope it's warmer than this in a few weeks. And uh, it's still measurable. Hang on, the sun's out. Look. <laughs> no? It's nice. still measurable. Don't worry. Maybe. I'm old, not miserable. Yeah, you're, you're old and miserable. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm feeling all right. Yeah, yeah, it's all good, you know, just, well... I had a little injury a few weeks ago on the old wrist, so that's just go, that's just going through the healing process at the moment. But we've got five or six weeks before we need to be here and riding bikes in Angus. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Same same package, you know, with the Honda team and uh, with Clive Paget and his team and the electric bike Mugen. So full stable of bikes and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Mr. Dunlop, you said last year you weren't coming back, didn't you? Yeah, J John wanted me to retire, so. Oh, I just think just he kicked me out of the team, so I, let, I was I was left jobless, and then I wanted to work for him for a couple of weeks, and I couldn't hack it, so I just said I'd need to go and I was going to retire. But now we've got a different bike, BMW. Now it's going to be something different. Come back, and uh, it's just like John's fucking hard to stay away from the TT. It's just yeah. a great place to be. It's a great circuit. It's, like, it's the biggest circuit in the world, you know. I mean, the fastest place, it's the only place you want to win. How's, how's it going on the BMW? Yeah, it's alright. We haven't done a lot. We've only done a couple of days on it, which we need to do some more, but. It's going around in circles, so that's the main thing. Okay. Well, we're going to be seeing a lot more of you before the event, but uh, tomorrow night it sort of kicks off, doesn't it? At the Villa Marina, the big launch night. Yeah, just going back to it, I wasn't very good at polishing my boots, so I had to let him go. So I thought, you better get back on the bike. And so he's uh, deflected to BMW. So uh, He always we'll wants see. the last word, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow night, it's good crack, uh, good fun. Everybody gets together, you know, and it's uh, sort of, you know, it's fair to say, I'll, I'll be having a couple of beers and uh, get on stage and tell some stories and... Uh, Get amongst the fans, you know, there's always a good turnout, uh, plenty of people in there and uh, yeah, just looking forward to a chat, chat and uh, we'll soon, soon be here. Got a bit raucous uh, last year from all accounts, you've got to be more controlled this time? It wasn't me. <laughs> it was me. It was you? <laughs> You're one of them. Yeah, no, uh, before the night's out I will say something that people will not appreciate, yeah, I would just mind. say, no but sure, at least I, I appreciate it. It's after the watershed, isn't it? It's a, is it? Is it an adult show? I don't know, <laughs> we'll I, know. I, I didn't watch it, but I heard about it. You know, like everyone was talking about it. Well, that's the time. thing, but people complain, you know, and they say, oh, you've been using this language. My kids heard it, well, your kids should be in bed. <laughs> they should be ready for school. You tell them. I, I, they do, don't want to end up like us with no brains. Riding around get, here. Riding around here. <laughs> get them to, in their bed, go to school. Things will be great. They can listen up and yeah. hear our good stories. Well, let's do the plug. Tickets available if you want to go, and it's streamed online if you want to. Tickets look available. on the website, yeah. How much are they? I don't know, but you can go still upstairs. How much ticket? <laughs> Fiver. <laughs> well, you, can't, you, can't get a, you can't get a packet of fags for that, can you, and a beer? So let's right. uh, get your fiver out, come down and see us. Uh, and if you don't enjoy it, I'll give you your fiver back. Well, that, hey. that, that will never, ever happen. <laughs> that, well, I will I will eat my own knickers if I see John McGinnis hand out money. Oh, my. There's, there's something <laughs> there. Right, we'll see what happens. Um, lastly... You're going for another, obviously, you come back to win, guys. I mean, that's the name of the game. Rivalry here. So yeah, that's a, a <laughs> that was a bit of rivalry, but it's, you know, a lot of people think, I think people think we hate each other, we don't, you know. I think we're, we're pals, if you like, maybe. Uh, I really enjoyed last year working with him. I'm saying that now, but... Uh, His look. Right. <laughs> well, look, you can have one friend. You can have, I'll be your friend, Michael. I know you haven't got any other friends. I'll be your friend for today, all do right? You know, do you want to hug it out? I don't know. <laughs> Last time we done that, it was personal, and he wasn't wearing any clothes. <laughs> we better leave it there. So you, this is a taste of what you're going to get. Get uh, choose the night at the Villa Marina anyway, and watch it online if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Look, uh, me and John got on very well actually for yeah. for two teammates. For, well, ex teammates now. Uh, we got on very well. The crack's good, you know, and that's what you need. That's what racing misses. You know what I mean? People miss that. Everybody's wearing sunglasses and worrying about themselves. You know, you need to have the banter with the boys because at the end of the day, it's. The worst thing about road racing is, you know, you don't know when you're not going to see the lads again, you know, that, that, that is it, you know what I mean, and what's the point of was bitching, and, you know what I mean, if something goes out and something happens to me, but at least I've had the crack with the boys and they can turn around and say, but he's not a but he wasn't as much of a than everybody thought he was, so, you know what I mean, you just need to go, you need to enjoy it, you know what I mean, and we need to, like, like us boys, you need to have that respect off the track because when you're brushing shoulders on it, you know, you need to know where you're at, you know what I mean? And you can't you can't do that if you don't like somebody because the first thing you do, if I don't like somebody, the first thing I'm going to do is stick it in anywhere I can get it. So at least if you have a bit of respect off the track, you'll take it on the track with you. 
think you pretty much summed it up there. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I, I've I've always liked to have a bit of camaraderie with everybody in the paddock. You know, it's a, I say it's a, it, it's a difficult place out there on the track. You know, and I, I'd sooner look out for people if anything. And you know, I, I, you know, I give a little bit of advice out there if I can. I give Mark a little bit of help last year with a few things, uh, seriously. And uh, yeah. but uh, you know, it's. When we get the helmet on, on the on behind us here on the start line, when the flag drops, it's every man for themselves. We'll all be racing to win. I, I want to win. Michael wants to win. There's a few other guys out there, for sure, want to win. Uh, you know, there's some great newcomers here. There's some, uh, you know, really quality, you know, fantastic feel from all over the world. So, uh, you know, if the sun shines, it'll be, you know, an amazing event again. And uh, hopefully, we can nab another win. And I think the question I always end up asking you every year this time is, uh, is this the last one? Yeah, <laughs> retirement. Not for him. <laughs> no. no, he's got plenty of time. Yeah. Jeez, he's only yeah, 20, yeah. he's only 23 and won seven TTs. Well, I'd only, you know, I was 25 years old before I started racing at the Alaman. So uh, you know, I'm 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 getting a little bit long in the tooth. Maybe uh, you know, this injury hasn't helped me. You know, I feel like I've been run over by an attic in the last few weeks. And uh, you know, when I hit that rock and I was lying there, I was at that moment in time, I was retiring from racing. I was I was over it. You know, but now in the pit lane, stood with the boys, uh, sun shining. You know, I'm getting the bug again, so I'll be, you know, the cast, cast is off now, so I've just got to get stuck in and grip my teeth. But uh, uh, no, no, I mean, I mean, Bruce is 44, 45, and he's just the second fastest man around there, you know, Bruce Anstey. So, you know, there's some fast guys, it's nothing to do with your age, it's how much you want to do it, and, uh, you know, we've still got the desire and the passion to do it. Age is only a number.